Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. If you wanted to summarize our reading today, you could probably summarize it with the words, who is God and who is king? That seems to be what is brought to the forefront of several of our readings, from the Old Testament, from the New Testament, and also from the Psalms. In our Old Testament reading, we have Eve being tempted to be like God as she is tempted to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil that God had forbidden both her and Adam to eat from. Matter of fact, when Satan tempts her, one of the things that he says is that if she would eat of it, she would become like God, will be like God knowing both good and evil in verse 5. And that was appealing to Eve, to be like God knowing good and evil. And of course, we know that the, uh, the disastrous results that came from that decision that she made to want to be like God. And then in our New Testament reading, you have Herod, who was called King Herod. This was Herod the Great, uh, who held the title of king. And then you have the, the Magi or the wise men coming and asking, where is uh, the king of the Jews? And Herod is offended by the fact that these guys whose job uh, partly was to appoint kings had come into his territory and had began to want to proclaim someone else as king. And after they leave, he has all the male children of two years old and younger killed there in Bethlehem and the, in the surrounding areas. And it was because he was threatened by someone else being called king. And then in our reading in the Psalms, you have uh, the nations being spoken about, how they wanted to basically dethrone God. He says, uh, why are the nations so angry? Verse one, why do they waste their time with futile plans? The kings of the earth prepare for battle and the rulers plot together against the Lord and against his anointed one. Let us break their chains, they cry, and free ourselves from slavery to God. In other words, let's, let's break free from having to listen to what God is telling us, from uh, being enslaved to uh, obedience to God, and basically wanting to take God off of the throne. But he goes on to say that the Lord, or the one who rules in heaven, laughs, and the Lord scoffs at them. And then he talks about the fact that uh, the Messiah was going to come, uh, God was going to proclaim him as his son, and then in verse 10, now, now then you kings act wisely. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with reverent fear and rejoice with trembling. Uh, trembling. Submit to God's royal son or he will become angry and you will be destroyed in the midst of all your activities. So the encouragement there in the psalm is stop trying to break the bonds and just submit to God's royal son who is being placed as king. And so in all these different readings, we have uh, people who want to put their place or put themselves in the place of God, who are wanting to be their own king and not want to submit to God's sovereign rule. And as we be continue to begin this new year, this is a question that we have to ask ourselves. Who is God and who is king of our lives? Whenever we try to set ourselves up as God and king, things don't work out quite so well in our lives. Uh, we end up chasing the wind. We end up reaping futility. And we just don't really live the fulfilled life that we otherwise could have when we submit to God and, and recognize his rule and live according to the things that he has ordained. And so as this upcoming year continues on, let's put God back in his place and put Jesus back in his place as king and submit to him, get into his word, but not just read the word just for the sake of reading it, but reading it with a heart, with a submissive heart, uh, seeking and desiring to obey the Lord and to uh, put him first in our lives and to center our lives around him and not around ourselves, to build up his kingdom and not try to just build up our own kingdom. So that's our encouragement today as we do our reading today. 
Uh, these are some things to reflect on with that. I do thank you guys for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.